my challenge. I don't think I'm gonna say much. As you can see, I already got started. Um, so this is my first cup. I'm not going to be replacing regular water. I don't think it would harm you. I just wouldn't suggest that um, for an entire week. What I will be doing is consuming at least two glasses of okra water throughout the day. I think I'm gonna have three glasses, but minimum of two. So one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one before I go to bed. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this water. Um, and I'm still doing research to see if you can consume too much okra water. I highly doubt you can, but I'm not gonna encourage all of that. I am not a doctor, y'all, okay? I'm just trying it out and putting you guys on while I do the process. And it makes me feel so refreshed and hydrated. I definitely think this adds more like hydration to my body. I will say though, once you drink this a lot, you do have to use the restroom quite a bit. So yeah, it does its thing when it comes to that. Yeah, you guys, I think I'm gonna end day one here. Um, nothing too crazy as you can see. I've already got started. So yeah, we're gonna just conquer this day and I'll hop back on tomorrow on day two. So yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey loves, so it is the next day and I figured I would show you guys how the Oko water looks after sitting in the fridge for some time. She's thick y'all. And I wanted to show you this so you don't feel confused if you did it right or not. She thick. So yeah, this is how it's gonna look. It's going to pour out slowly. I don't want my hands to get really tired, so let me finish pouring this out. As you can see, it looks like a regular glass of water. Nothing strange about that. The only thing that is different is the texture. Yep, she's thick. <laughs> It doesn't taste bad at all to me. It kind of reminds me of cucumber water, like there's a little taste, but nothing where it's significant, like, oh my gosh. It doesn't smell odd or anything like that. It looks good, it smells good. It honestly tastes good to me. I think it tastes refreshing, but the texture of swallowing the water, it can be, you know, an acquired taste. It just it throws you off a little bit for the first time. But after that, you get used to it, it's no problem. You can add different things in your okra water to give it some flavor and make it more easy for you to digest. You can add okra to your smoothies. So there's ways you can like get to this level, but you know, your girl likes a good challenge, okay? I personally have been loving okra water to hydrate my body. Once you get used to the actual texture of this water, it's so easy to consume like i prefer drinking this water over regular water so yeah i just really enjoy it definitely think it's worth the try now i have no problem with how this tastes but if you guys want me to get creative in the kitchen you know i got you just let me know in the comment section below and i can think of different recipes that might help you guys get used to the texture of this water and make it easier for you to consume so yeah i just wanted to give you guys a quick little update because i realized to myself some of y'all may not know what you're getting into when it comes to actually consuming the water so she's thick but other than that once you get used to consuming it you'll be fine. Just think of the benefits, y'all. Think of the benefits. Hi, my loves, we are back. Quick recap about yesterday. Basically, everything went really good. The only thing I can say is that your girl had to pee a lot throughout the day, which I honestly think is a really good sign. It just means your body is detoxifying itself, so I have no complaints there. Just know you may have to use the restroom a little bit more often when you're drinking okra water. And I want to say that my body instantly feels more hydrated. The easiest way I can describe that is you have regular water and then most people know how coconut water tastes. If you've had that before, you know that coconut water has electrolytes so you feel a little bit more energized. 
I feel a little bit more hydrated when I drink open water. So try it for yourself. Maybe that's just how my body reacts, but I really like how I feel once I finish drinking a glass. So this will be my third glass of the day. I'm gonna be drinking two to three glasses of okra water throughout the day combined with regular water. What stood out to me for today is that I don't feel as hungry. Usually I'll have, you know, a little snack, some popcorn, some nuts, just like light little foods throughout my day before my meals or after my meals. But when I'm drinking okra water, I don't feel as hungry. Like I'll have two full meals for the day and I'm pretty much good. Again, this is like my personal experience, but I definitely feel more full when I'm drinking this. And to just like avoid using the restroom a lot before I head to bed, I try to wrap up my third drink by 7, 7.30. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Bye. Hey y'all, this is not an ad, okay? This is just a quick reminder. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so, y'all. Click that subscribe button along with that notification bell down below so you're notified every time your girl posts a new video. And give this video a huge thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far. All right, we're good to go? Let's hop back into this video. So it is officially day four of trying okra water and you guys, I love it. It is so refreshing. This is my third glass for the day. Again, I don't feel as hungry when I drink this water. By the time this video is up, you guys will already have access to my prior video where I show you guys how to properly clean okra, how to prepare your okra water, and how to preserve your okra for long periods of time in your freezer. So yeah, I have completely got used to the texture. This is my fourth day and I have not added anything, but I also will give you guys suggestions and the benefits of this water. I don't really go in depth in this video just because I know that video will be out there for you guys. And that is your 101 guide and tells you everything you need to know and why you should incorporate it. And in that video, I show you guys how to deal with the texture if that's an issue and how to make it taste a little different if you guys need to just switch it up. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it for today. I feel good. I feel refresh I have so much energy and that is it for day four I will see you guys tomorrow on day five hi my loves we made it it is officially day five the last day of our okra water challenge and y'all look how much we have left this is my second glass for the day I will be having one more before I call it a night but I want to wrap this video up now and let you guys know my final thoughts so let's just hop on into it. So before I jump into everything, I do want to remind you that these are my personal opinions based on my experience of drinking okra water for a week. Okay, so for the pros, I love how easy it is to make okra water. All you have to do is properly clean it and let it soak in the refrigerator for a few hours, preferably overnight, and then you're good to go. It lasts for about three days. The second thing I love is how hydrated I feel every time I drink this water. It just gives me like a natural boost of energy and I think it really does make my body feel more hydrated. That's just how I feel though. Another thing I've noticed is that my skin has a really nice natural glow to it. Now that could be due to my skincare. However, because I feel so nourished from this water, I think that it has some good benefits. And this water is packed with nutrients. Again, if you guys have not checked out my previous video, I highly recommend it. I will link it on the screen for you guys because I go in depth regarding all the benefits that you get from this water and the vitamins that it contains. Of course, I am not a health professional, y'all, so please, I highly encourage you guys to do your own research and see what will work best for you, okay? Okay, now for the cons, I'm gonna speak as a collective. You already know by now that the taste didn't bother me at all, nor did the texture, but in general, I can see it being a problem. Like for example, my mom doesn't really care for the texture of this, and I don't mind it. So that could be a con. I think you can get used to it over time, but check out my previous video. I show you guys how you can kind of work around the texture and the taste. Another con in a way was having to use the restroom so much. It's kind of like when you're on a detox and you just, you have to have that mindset like, hey, I'm gonna have to use the restroom a lot, okay? But if you have a really busy schedule, just be aware you're gonna have to be close to a restroom because this will really detoxify you. At least that's what I think because 
yeah but I didn't have a problem with it, I'm just saying. You will have to pee a lot. And that is pretty much all I can think for in terms of cons. The price of okra isn't bad, but again, it depends on where you live. You may even have to do this by purchasing frozen okra, depending on how accessible it is. So the accessibility of okra could be a con for some, but what I like to do now is freeze my okra so I don't have to run into any problems. It lasts for months, and all you have to do is let it thaw out a little bit, and then you add it to water, and you're good to go. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. I really try to think like what questions you guys may have for me if you have any more let me know in the comment section below i think this is definitely worth a try when you think of okra water i would assume you tend to think oh pregnant woman drink okra water you know or you want to keep a man child it's a whole different discussion if you look up okra water this does help with lubrication if you're grown if you're grown okay then you already know <laughs> just like either either or but in general this has anti-inflammatory properties and it can help with your overall heart health and you don't have to drink this every day consistently um, but I think it's worth trying here and there, especially in the warmer months. Now, if you don't have a specific need, I wouldn't say to drink this water every single day. I'm going with the flow. Like I said, I haven't seen research that supports like, hey, don't drink this every single day. For me personally, I'm not going to replace this with regular water, nor am I going to drink this consistently every single day, but I will be incorporating this into my lifestyle a lot more. But that is it for my video, you guys. As always, please, again, do your research and let me know if you have any comments in the comment section below. Give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you're not already subscribed, you guys, we have made it this far. Go ahead and click the subscribe button along with that notification bell down below so you're notified every time your girl posts a new video. Stay blessed and I'll see you guys very shortly in my next one.